Hey guys, what's up? This is David from Common RDW here, and I'm here with the talented Megan Shipman. You might know her from the voice of Alba from New Game. That's one of my personal favorites. And also she's uh, Hikari Hibari? Hibari. Hibari, Hibari. Hibari from mm -hmm. Sinran Kagura, which is also a very not safe for work anime, but no. so good. But so, so, so good. So good. <laughs> um, speaking, okay, can I just tell like yeah, a, a fun yeah. story? Um, I love Hibari. She was the mm -hmm. first like role I ever got like a named role as. Oh, that's an interesting one. Yeah, so it was yeah. the first like big audition I did when I started at Funimation. Mm -hmm. And so she has a very special place. And honestly, the first season of that show, I honestly, I'll, I'll admit it, I love the first season more mm -hmm. than the newest season that we just yeah. did because the first season was so self-aware, it seemed like. Of, like it was like, we know who our audience is. We know is. who we the know audience is. We know show. that you are here for plot. Yeah. You know, <laughs> plot. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and so it was very self-aware. Like one mm -hmm. of my favorite scenes to this day that I talk about is when, you know, uh, the one girl has a sushi roll. Yeah. Um, and she's eating it provocatively. Oh, just like, I just kind of... Yeah, and they do like yeah. the anime sparkles and she pulls her hair back and she's like eating the sushi roll and then the in like two, not even 30 seconds later, their old man teacher also does it and they put like all the sparkles on <laughs> and him. And they're just and like, oh, He does the no, same no. thing. <laughs> and, and all the girls are like, no! <laughs> so I... That show is great. I, I don't care who Classics. you are. It's good. Classics. It's good. And it's like, like let's actually talk about Sinran Kaga for a little yeah, bit, actually. Sure. Because, um... There's been a whole bunch of games off of that series, like a lot of yes. games. I have one friend that's really big fan of the games. Um, they're like kind of like uh, Dynasty Warriors type of style yeah. games, and um, there's, some of them are just like just shame. There's, there's this one where it's like the, uh, I think it was like a, like a third person shooter, but it was like water guns and stuff like that. Yep. Yeah, and then yeah. actually recently one that I actually do want to get. I've never bought any Cinnamon Cog games, but I want this one. It's the Peach Ball one that just came out on Nintendo Switch. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, it's like looks... pinball. But it's cute. like, yeah, that it one looks, looks really good. It looks cute. Yeah, I like a good pinball game, I, but also... I'm, I'm not going to lie. I bought a Cinder and Kagura game for the 3DS. And oh, I, yeah, I remember and those, I was, yeah. And I can't... I have to admit, because I couldn't... I, I don't know what I was... I had to have been doing something wrong. Like, I mm -hmm. wasn't meeting an objective that I just didn't know I was supposed to meet mm -hmm. or something, because I couldn't get past the tutorial. Yeah. It kept being like, no, you're dead. And I'm like, but <laughs> I, I'm beating the... And I, But I will say... It was really fun. Yeah. I just couldn't get that. So were you playing like mainly, it was like a, you were playing as one specific character or you could play yeah, as Yeah, it was, you, know? it, you could play as any of the girls, yeah. but it was also like, it was a, I forget which one it was, but it was a side scroller type of. Oh, it was like a side scroller beat em up? Yeah, right? yeah, 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 kinda, yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, it was really fun. And I wish I could have gotten past the tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> but those games, they usually keep those in like Japanese, right? They don't really have you guys dub over those? No, no, a lot of games, there's a few games. There's like Sinner and Kagura, and I know Data Live is getting um, a Western release. One of the yeah. new ones mm -hmm. is coming over. Um, but yeah, we don't, uh, because it's not Funimation putting out the games, oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a different company. So mm -hmm. a lot of times they just do it in- They just do the import and that's it? They yeah, they do the import. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Either, okay. either they just are like, we just want to do the import. We don't want to, and there's, I'm sure there's, a lot of other factors that go into mm -hmm. it that I don't know about. Um, but I just assume like, well, it's a different company. Yeah. They're in a totally different state nine times out of 10. They don't want to pay money to bring everybody out. Yeah. Know, all that kind of thing. Cause uh, I know Funimation oppositely um, for another game that was turned into an anime was uh, Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so um, that was that's always a weird thing because I always have to tell people, no, 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 I only voice IF in the anime because they Funimation tried to bring as many of the people over, mm -hmm. which they did. They got a, a good chunk of the original game cast yeah. uh, to Dallas, but they were like, we have to voice match everybody else. So that was kind of an interesting thing because I had to voice match Kate Higgins. Um, so yeah, but that was fun. Ooh, it was great. Okay. Yeah. Got a little bit of anime video game talk. Yeah, yeah, that so, was really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird how it works. Like Usually game companies, they're like, no, nah, no, mm -hmm. we're, we don't we don't care. We just want the import. But sometimes if there's an anime, Funimation will be like, well, is there English cast for it? And if so, they're mm -hmm. like, okay, well, we're going to try to do our best, you know, to bring yeah. people over. So it just depends on what side is what's happening. And, yeah. Okay. Um, one big thing, like a, one thing that is emphasized on your uh, placement in the Doki Dokkan pamphlet is that you're um, within like five years. So like relatively... Five years in the voice acting industry is, is kind of relatively new. Yeah, yeah, um, like five, six. Yeah. I want to say I'm, gosh, I can't, because I know I, I sent my I sent my bio off to them yeah. a really long time ago, so I think maybe I'm hitting six now. I, I, I'd have to go and like find like yeah. 
post and count the years, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, it's, it, it is kind of relatively new. Mm -hmm. um, there's a handful of people um, like Bryn April and Chris McGuire, and I'm sure there's other people we all kind of started around the same time. And mm -hmm. now, you know, I've started being like, oh, who's this person? And then people are like, oh, that's so-and-so. They just started up here. And I'm like, I'm not, know I'm not the newest yeah. one. <laughs> it's really exciting. Mm -hmm. So, and, and then of course there's new people that you get to meet and that are really talented. And that's always a good thing. Cause yeah. I think for a long time, um, uh, a lot of times I'm also a big fan of anime. I was a huge fan before I became a voice actor. Yeah, I heard that um, like one of your favorite genres was like Magical Girl and Pokemon I have, and stuff like that. I love Magical Girls. Yeah. I have a whole shirt, I'm gonna wear it this weekend. It's literally <laughs> just a Magical Girl shirt, it's great. Um, but um, but yeah, it's, uh, what was I gonna say? I don't know, I had a brain fart. Um, I don't know, but. One thing I, um, I do wanna ask you, um, even though you are like relatively new in the scene, um, do you feel like there's certain things that you're like, that you excel at over most people in the industry or like things that you feel like, um, that because usually whenever you get cast with certain characters it's because your voice matches a certain right. uh, demographic of character mm -hmm. um so is there like a certain character that you feel like your voice has gotten you into that you um wish that you could hit like is there like a certain type of characters that you wish you could play mm. or um are they like because i know habari for example her voice is super high pitched so high pitched. yeah and then like aoba for example her voice is more like more similar to like your actual voice yeah yeah just yeah. like a little higher pitched maybe a little more breathy because she's a little bit younger than mm -hmm. me um, she's 18, a little bit, like, <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> she's working old. I'm getting old. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I always tell people, I, I'm, I'm really good at playing like young girls and my voice is just kind of suited for that. Mm -hmm. um, I wish, I will, I, you will never, probably never, not for a long time, maybe, maybe when I'm older and my voice changes a little bit more, but right now you will not see me playing any like, um, uh, mature, busty ladies, because mm -hmm. a lot of times they have like the deeper voices. And, yeah. Um, which it is not to say that I cannot. Um, it, it's, but it is kind of very hard to be like, I know this isn't my strong suit, and I want, I want to grow that. Yeah. Just hit part. like the deeper tones. Yeah, of, of like I voice. want to grow that because I mean it's not impossible. I yeah. mean. Um, a great example is Monica Rial. She has, oh, you know, yeah, Monica, that yeah. tiny little voice, but she, there's so many. Yeah, she did like Michiko and Michiko and Hanna. Yes, that was but a super deep. Oh, it's great. And she has this wonderful deep range that's just so cool. She just has a cool voice in yeah. general. Like her voice is so iconic at this point. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I was like, but you know, it's like you look at her and you're like, well, I can, I can do a deep voice then too. It's like if Monica can do it, who voices like Index is like, yeah, 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 you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like losing her mind over there, having a spaz attack. Mm -hmm. like. And then she can also voice, she was also in Syndrome Cargo. She voiced uh, somebody that was deeper voiced in that too. Yeah. And you're like, well, if she can do it, I can do it too. But then you also, I will say like, as an actor, like it is so hard. You're always your biggest critic. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, when auditions come in and they're like, oh, there's all these little girls and there's these women. And I'm always like, well, Give me a woman. And they're like, you get little girl number. Here's little girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like, I want to one day mm -hmm. so that's like day. a personal big goal of yours yeah that you like to change up the vocal range get yeah, into and, 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 yeah and sometimes that can be hard because people hear you as one thing for a while mm -hmm. and then especially now and i talk about this at cons too how with simul dubbing simul dubbing is so great but yeah. there's also cons to it too and one of the cons is a lot of times you don't directors don't have time to do auditions for shows like maybe they just need to snatch up exactly who they need right yeah exactly so they think okay who can do a little girl voice oh well i know megan has done lots of like young teenage girls mm -hmm. like she'll be she'll be great and then she'll fit you know like and they don't do it to just they try to a lot of directors now are doing a really great job of still picking people that are like picking roles and picking people for those roles mm -hmm. that are trying to i don't know i don't know how to say it but where it's in their wheelhouse um, and uh, but still varying up the cast mm -hmm. because they can't do auditions. So I think a lot of directors are being mind a lot more mindful now of, okay, I can't do auditions. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to ask around. I'm going to try to find um, someone I haven't worked with before because that, you know, that can get, that was a thing for a while. I think people, I know me as a fan, I, you know, back in the day, there was like the same 20 people yeah you know, for sure uh, for sure and which is not bad like they all did a fantastic job but it, a lot, i think after a while as anime grew and boomed which i think it's just boomed over the last, last like 10 years probably, it's yeah. just exploded and so um i think having more variety is like 
really, really something that fans want. Because mm-hmm. a lot of times when you get used to, I know me as a fan, but I'm speaking from just my own personal experience, I watch a show and if I watch a dub and I go, oh, that's so-and-so, like you start to recognize the mm-hmm. voices and sometimes that can like pull you out of your experience. Yeah. Not all the time, but if it's someone where you're like, oh yeah, that's so-and-so, I just watched this show. And then you're, you Because it's like when you start hearing a certain voice and a lot of different characters, yeah. it's like, oh, this person is just everywhere. And so I think that was yeah. the thing for, for, for a hot minute that fans were like, man, we want to hear like more variety because mm-hmm. it's not that they're not talented, it's that- They didn't have that many people. Yeah, and that people were like, we want different mm-hmm. people, we want lots of things, you know? Mm-hmm. So I think that was, I and mean, it's, it's a good thing that there's variety mm-hmm. now. And um, so, yeah. Cool, cool. I'm like getting a lot of like industry insight I, out of you. That's I like, rambled. that's good. No, that's good talk. <laughs> that's really good talk. Um, let's, I know that one thing that you said, um, that I, one thing that I found out about you is that you like to cosplay. Oh, I love um, it. And then apparently you have like a 2D, a 2B cosplay yes. from uh, near, near Tom yes. that you did. That, that sounds really cool. Yeah, yeah. I, oh gosh, I, that was like, I went through a period, um, I taught full time for mm-hmm. like three years. Middle um, school after choir, I, yeah? Yeah, middle school yeah. choir. Uh, I quit. (laughs) Don't don't do what I did, kids. Mm -hmm. Keep your job. You need a job to be a voice actor. I promise. Um, Don't do what I did. Um, But I, because I taught full time, it'd been so long since I'd actually like picked up a new game Mm -hmm. and like fell in love with it and like played it and that it just you know. And I picked up that game because I I had seen her design Mm -hmm. um, everywhere and I just I think her character design was so great yeah. and it, it captured a lot of people's like imaginations yeah and, tv's a really good character yeah, yeah and just the character designs in that show in general were really really great mm-hmm. and so it i picked up the game and i was like well i keep hearing great things i want to play it and so when i played it i was like this is spectacular and the fact that you go back and you you know you there's have, so many endings you play that game yeah, has a lot of con- so if you haven't played near so automata great. you got to do that so many it's endings because you play through it once and you're like that's the ending and then you play through it again and you do some different things you mm-hmm. play you play as a different character and you see things from their side and there's different it's great it all just unfolds the more you play it mm-hmm. and has great replayability value and yeah. so it is it was spectacular and i was like man i want that <laughs> i so want be- that clo- i want those clothes on my body yeah so yeah. So um, because of like um, your big, um, your, your job with voice acting and stuff, I'm pretty sure you don't have that like that much free time. Um, I, have is that a like lot, a, I have a lot. Of you free have time. a lot. Of free time. Uh, <laughs> Too much. My, my husband is like, you need to do more. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just cosplay more. And he's like, no, 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 go 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 work more. And I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, well. So like when you do have time to game, like what um, <laughs> games are you currently playing then? Um. I right now I'm playing through Nino Kuni two, Ooh, which okay. I I never played Nino Kuni one. I'm playing it on Twitch. Shameless promo. Ooh, what's your uh, uh, what's your Twitch name? My Twitch is just Megan Shipman VA. Oh, okay. yeah. So I'll I look you up. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I stream like on there. I mm-hmm. I haven't streamed at all this week because I was just getting ready for this con, yeah. and so I didn't get a chance to stream this week. But. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been playing through that because I didn't get a chance to play the first one, even though I, because I love Ghibli movies. Mm-hmm. And so the first one I was like, oh, Ghibli's involved. And oh, it's so cute. And it has that awesome aesthetic to it. Mm-hmm. So um, I was like, I want to play it. But and, but we got rid of our PS3 before I could play through it. Yeah. And so then we got our PS4. So I finally was like, I'm going to play Nino Kuni 2. I just picked it up. I was like, well, I don't know what else I want to play. So I just finished doing something else on my Twitch. And so I've absolutely fallen in love with the game. It's super cute. Um, I want to protect, I don't know if you've played it, but I want to protect- I've seen a lot of it. I haven't the little The main yet. character, his name, he's a little cat boy. I will, let me, the first five minutes of the game alone are just like, mm-hmm. what? Because the it's the president of the United States, okay? okay? And this is gonna blow your mind. It's right. the president of the United States. Um, a, a missile blows up a city that he's driving to. Okay. So he, his car gets like destroyed, and he's like on a bridge. And he's like, oh no! And then he like disappears, mm-hmm. and he gets isekai'd to a magical city called Ding Dong Valley. Yeah, it's the whole premise. <laughs> you of the said show. this city's called what? Uh, it's Nino Kuni. The, the, the city's called Ding Dong Dell. It's adorable. And okay. the and the little cat boy, his name is Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum the third. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> okay, I want to protect yeah. him with every fiber of my being. Mm-hmm. Um, so then that's the whole premise. The president just gets isekai'd and he's like, cool, now I'm here. He even, he still has his gun though. 
It's dope. He, okay. And he calls it a, it's literally, the item is literally called, his, the weapon's called a side piece. <laughs> he still has a side piece. It. <laughs> it's really great. So the first, if you watch on my Twitch, the first five minutes of like my first playthrough of that, I just was like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. I couldn't stop laughing. And yeah, was, that sounds great. I need to check that out. It's so fun. I know I the um, I know the first one's coming to Switch like late, like in yes. September. So I want to check that yeah, out. So sure. after yeah. So play, after playing this one, I'm like, well, now I have now you to gotta. play the first one. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> There's no excuse now. Mm -hmm. So um, Let's see. Oh, we've been going for like a little bit now. Let me, uh, let's get like one more little good, good session out yeah, of this sure. then. Um, so let's see. I had a really good one a little bit ago. No, then I started talking about Oh cat, no, that was, that was the ding the ding dong dell on the side piece. Ding dong dell. <laughs> oh, um, so when you uh, you said that you used to teach middle school, right. yeah, mm -hmm. um, and then you decided to go into voice acting. Um, did you go into it because like people were just like, hey, you have the voice for this, or did you say that like I I know I have the voice for this, I oh. want to go into it. Well, oh okay. Well, I was actually this is weird because I didn't start voice. I actually started voice acting when I was in college, uh -huh. which. I say this all the time and I want someone to change it because I don't know how and I don't think they'll let me change it. But okay. if, on the wiki pages, it says I'm from Louisiana and I'm not <laughs> because I went to college in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And when I started voice acting, that's where I lived because I, I was in college. Okay. Um, so I started voice acting in college like my, the summer before my senior year. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, I was teaching full. Then I graduated and I'm teaching full time back in Dallas. So. Mm -hmm. Um, which was very, very hard um, because, you know, when you're teaching full time, the district I was in, you know, and the school I was at, the, it's going from basically 8.30 till 4 o'clock. Yeah, that's your whole day. Yeah, my whole day. And so um, Monday through Friday and then I, it, where I was, it was about a 45 minute drive to Funimation. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so then I was like, well, I only have one. And they weren't doing night shows at that point. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, well, because now, because of the volume of shows they have, um, we record, there's a set of directors that record during the day, and then there's a set of directors that record. Because it's like Simul Dub sessions? Yes, and stuff like yeah, that. yeah. So, and then there's a set that records at night. But we weren't doing night shows yet because Simul Dubs weren't really a thing yet. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of starting. Um, and so I only had basically one hour a day. Um, and then I still was doing stuff during that time, which I'm very grateful for, because yeah. that's really hard to work around. Um, when you have to manage like 500 other people's schedules yeah. to record in a day. Um, so I, I, and I quit teaching, I mean, I always, I have no problem saying this because I just didn't like where I was teaching. That's fair. Uh, so, because yeah. it just was like, I didn't like the, I didn't like the, my bosses and I didn't like, uh, by the end I was just kind of miserable. Don't sleep on teachers, bro. Respect yeah, teachers. Yeah, no, no, Respect please, teachers, please yeah. do. They, look, <laughs> look. <laughs> That's a whole other topic. I am. <laughs> Who I could go on forever about that, but mm -hmm. teachers have it really hard, especially like if it's it's it, it just depends on where you're at. But yeah. for me, for me, I didn't mesh with like my bosses, yeah. and it just you're wasn't. You're just like, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, do this I'm, instead. I'm good, yeah. and so I took I I went out on a limb, and I was like, and luckily, you know, as a as a teacher, I still do substitute teaching, mm -hmm. um, and I do other things here and there because I still have my teaching degree and. Um, and I still, I don't work 24 seven at Funimation, so I gotta make money somehow, yeah. you know? So, um, but yeah, I I will say like one really funny story is, I got, well at first your question was like, how did you get into it? Mm -hmm. I, I basically got <laughs> into voice acting because I knew a friend in college that worked at Funimation in, in high school. Yeah, basic, yeah, basically, and I got really lucky and I met people and they were like, hey, why don't you come on do this like audition? And I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and me on the inside is like, yeah, <laughs> you know, but I, I can't do that because yeah. I have to be professional. Um, so uh, that's how I got in. But as doing voice acting while teaching, I'd already done one piece at that point, And this is a really funny yeah. story. Um, there at the time I started teaching, I'm married now. So now I have yeah. a maiden name and then I have my name, which I still use for voice acting. And mm -hmm. then I have my like married name. So this was before I got married and mm -hmm. I guess the kids had like Googled me or something or mm -hmm. decided to Google me because they thought it would be funny. Yeah. And uh, so I, and I did lunch duty. So I'm like walking in the cafeteria, like watching the kids eat mm -hmm. their gross lunches. Like for <laughs> real though, Yeah. school lunches are disgusting. Terrible. Like I, I don't miss those. I, mm, don't miss I don't envy those kids. I, I went through it and I'm not doing it ever again. Mm -hmm. Um, But 
It was so funny. I walked up, some of the kids were like, Miss Shipman, Miss Shipman. And I was like, yes. And I walk up to the table and I'm like, what you need? Like, do you need like, sometimes they're just like, can I get a ketchup or can I get this or that? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fine, I'm going to get you ketchup. Um, <laughs> I'm like the butler of the lunchroom. <laughs> um, but they were like, and then they had like that look on their face, and I was like, like, and I was like what, what do you, what do you want, <laughs> what do you want from me? And they're like, do you know something called One Piece? And they asked it just like that. I'm not even kidding you. Like, like they thought they were being like super sleuths, and I was like, he's like, you watch anime, don't you? And I just, and I went, and I went, what is that? And they're like, you know, One Piece. And they're like doing like this whole like dramatic pause. It's like, we're gonna break you. We're and gonna I was get like. You. I've never heard of that, <laughs> which I totally have. I mm -hmm. freaking was screaming my lungs out in that show. So yeah. I was like, so it was so funny because they were just like, you heard of it? And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? Like, I totally played dumb. I was like, I don't know any, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and I also had, which was so funny because they just couldn't get it out of me. And they just looked at me like, <sighs> would it really have been like a big, a big thing if they like found out that you actually do voice acting on the side or? Oh, like that probably no, would have been I, like a conflict thing for like. No, I think it would have been. Like, no, I, think it been I think it would have been fine. You just um, didn't want to even deal with that. I just didn't want to deal with it. Yeah, honestly, and I did have this one really, really sweet girl in mm -hmm. my. In, I taught choir in my choir class, um, and she was in eighth grade, so she was going to high school the next year. Mm -hmm. And towards the end of the year, she was like. And she watched, I remember she watched like Seraph of the End, like that's when that oh, was so, kind of yeah. big. So yeah, she, she was like all into that and. I just remember her being like, is this you? And she had like pulled up the page, like pulled where it way. has my like picture. And I looked at her and I was like, nope, not me. Just like holds the picture up to your face. <laughs> yeah, and she's, like, like, no. and she's like, it is you, it has to be. Like it looks just, I was like, no, that looks nothing like me. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. So I, I kind of like, she was really sweet and fun. So we would just go back and forth mm -hmm. about it. So finally, like, it's like the last week of school or something and she's like, Please, will you just tell me, like, if it's you? I really can't tell if you're joking or serious. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yes, it's me. I did all of that stuff. And she was like, <laughs> and she was, like, so happy. Yeah. <laughs> but she was really sweet, so I, I liked her, so I told her. That would have been cool, though. Like, I didn't like the other kids, yeah. so I didn't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you're not, you're not, like, I'm not no, teaching now. Yeah. I'm not teaching them now. I didn't like them. Yeah. That would have been like that would have been a cool though like to like know that like your teacher voices some characters that you oh it was to watch. so yeah. funny because you know I, the school I was at surprisingly they didn't have an anime club which I feel like every middle school has one because you there's think that, they would they all kind of group together yeah. I mean look I was that kid they all we the kids all kids in that specific together. room in the lunchroom playing their DSs yes they, yeah. they all clump together the um, card squad I've yeah. been there and done that and so yeah it, it was surprising that there wasn't an anime club. Mm -hmm. um, and, but I would see them, they'd be walking around with like their their Yuri on Ice shirts or their backpacks or their <laughs> Dragon Ball things. And I'm like, and they would be like really, and sometimes they'd be like the mean kids that were mean to me. And I'd be like, if only you It's knew. like, oh, this is ironic as hell. <laughs> oh, if only you knew <laughs> that I knew your heroes. <laughs> <laughs> I could ruin you. Oh my god! But yeah, that was my my oh, suffering in petty. middle school. <laughs> I, was, I was a petty middle school teacher. I feel like like all all Look, teachers carry the energy they, though. They all, kind, all teachers carry the you energy. You have to have okay, those yeah. internal monologues with yourself, and you're like, oh, that like kid. I need this job. I need this job. I need this oh, job. I need this job. But ooh, that kid, that one <laughs> kid. Ooh, he doesn't. Oh, he does not want to say talk to me today. <laughs> you know, like you, there's always that one kid. Okay. Yeah, um, so. Funny talks. Oh my goodness. Um, really quick, so we can close up. Yeah. Um, so are there any cool upcoming um, shows that you're going to be voicing for? I know you do New Game. And yes. New Game had a second season. Is there a second season coming out that you can talk about? Oh, uh, a third season? or something? I know there's a second season. Oh, okay. If it's, is the second season getting dubbed soon or? The second season is dubbed. Oh, it yes, is. yes. And it, I think it, and I think it just came out. So I, I literally just got my copy of it this past week, which, nice. I, which took forever to get. And I was like, please, mm -hmm. I put so much of my life into I this. I am in it. <laughs> please it just let me have yeah. one copy. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so there is a second season. It's really, nice. if you haven't, have you seen it yet? Oh yeah, I love it. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen all that it has yet. a very bittersweet ending. And mm -hmm. I, I didn't know about it when I recorded it. Yeah. And I got in the booth and I was like, I hate my life. <laughs> um, it's the first time I actually like legit cried mm -hmm. for a character. It was so sad. Um, yeah. 
But still watch it. It's good. It's happy. It's good. It's a good one. <laughs> Except for the last episode. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so uh, so New Game has season two. I think it just came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't think you can stream it right now. But if you buy the Blu-ray and DVD, you get a digital copy. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, you can stream it that way. If you buy a copy of it, you get another copy if you're on the go. Mm-hmm. So um, it's one of those shows that... Kind of, I tell people, I mean, everyone knows, like, you know, Crunchyroll and Funimation had a deal and yeah. they split. And that was one of the shows exactly. that was kind of a, a shared baby between them. Yeah. And so the split kind of made things weird mm-hmm. with it. So that's why it's not streaming mm-hmm. anywhere, which sucks. But yeah. you can still buy it and it's worth it. I, prom- sure. I promise you it's worth it. And what it. other uh, cool stuff is uh, coming out that you're working on? Um, right now, uh, for this season, uh, well, last season and this season, I'm in You Know, a girl who something at the edge of the world or something. Um, okay. <laughs> I think it's a long name and I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I play a girl named Mio um, in that show. And it's it's basically, it's a, it's a really interesting franchise mm-hmm. that it's based on. It's based on like a really old, honestly, probably one of the first visual novels that was made for PC or I forgot the console that it was on back in the day, but Mm -hmm. very old, like back in the late 80s, early 90s. And then it's kind of evolved over time and stayed, the creators have had it stay relevant. But I think uh, they're making a new season. It's on last season and now this season. Um, So it's not just 13 episodes. It's it's, it's gonna be 24 or 26 or something like that. So. We're doing that, and it's all about time travel, um, and just kind of this mysterious island at this in this city. And so there's lots of time loops and things mm-hmm. like that. So a lot of times I'm like, I don't really know what's happening right now because I've recorded the same three lines the last six sessions because there's time <laughs> loops going on, and I don't really know what's happening. Yeah. So, but yeah, so it's uh, it's good. It's it's a it's a fun little mister mysterious show. Um, and then also Citrus. I mean, it's kind of kind of old news, but I'm in Citrus as Yuzu, and yeah. I personally, uh, Pride Month just happened, and I was like all about Citrus love. I got so many people on Twitter were like, "Oh, Citrus was so great," and I I yeah. love being like, "Yay!" That's one I missed, but I need to actually uh, um, watch that one. So I probably watch it yeah. though because I want to like so I can just zoom right. I think it's it, a great yeah. show. I mm-hmm. I there's uh, a lot of people don't get past the first episode just because there's. I guess you could call it controversy around the first episode, but okay. I always tell people like, stick you know, with it. stick with it. There's, I'm, I always tell people, I'm like, I don't condone the bad decisions of the characters, mm-hmm. but there is reasoning for them. So I'm like, it's not bad writing because there is a reason mm-hmm. for this character to do this thing. And you just have to stick with it and watch it. Like you have to, you have to get to know the characters mm-hmm. so that, you know, just like anyone, okay. like, why did they do this? I don't know. Well, you gotta get to know the person to figure out what they're thinking. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's, I think it's great. Dope, dope, yeah. dope, dope. And then uh, you also stream on Twitch, like you said. Yeah. So people can find you where at where at. Uh, Megan Shipman V A on nice. Twitch. And how often do you usually uh, stream? I try to stream twice a week. I always, uh, well, not except for this week. Mm-hmm. Um, but my schedule on my Twitch page says uh, every Thursday and Friday at That's eight at eight p.m. Central Time. Cool. Uh, but I've lately been streaming a lot more than that. Mm-hmm. But it's not really a consistent thing, so I don't put any other random weeknights that I stream. Just hit that notification bell. Yeah, hit the, notifi- hit the notification just bell. Just hit the notification bell mm-hmm. and you'll just, you'll get to know anytime I go live. Sure. And I always, and if you follow me on Twitter, which is at 18, the number 18, and then mop, top, M-O-P, T-O-P. Don't ask me why it's called that because I made it like 15 years ago. Why is it called? I don't know. <laughs> my bra- my teenage brain was like, "Yeah, this is great." That's my hairstyle. That's me. I'm gonna do. It. I can. I can make this. It's fine. And now I use it. Um, but I always, if you follow me on Twitter, I always post like when I'm going live, or if okay. I, if I'm thinking of streaming that night, I'll post like five hours or so ahead of time. Be like, mm-hmm. "Hey, I'm probably gonna stream at such and such time." So nice, nice. that's also a good way to keep up with when I'm. Streaming. And then what are like the next three cons you're going to be going to this year? Oh gosh, uh, there's another one coming up in like September and I, I can't remember the name of it. But I also don't know if they've announced me yet, so I don't know if I can say it. Ooh. But I will say as soon as I can. Okay. So I'm going with a follow, friend. Just follow the Twitter. Yeah, follow, follow the Twitter. Follow the, I live, I literally live on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. Thank you so much for the for the talk. Yeah. This one, this ran 
Thank you, Doki Dokan, for the generous time frame. Thank yeah. you so much, uh, Megan, I for always, the generous time frame. I love, I love talking about anime. Yeah. So this is what I do at panels. I just go blah, 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 blah. And, and I like everyone word in the audience is just like, yes. And they're like, yes. yeah. <laughs> I literally had, I went to a con last year and I had a girl come up to me and goes, you're one of the most relatable people I've ever, like, as like a guest that I've ever met. And mm -hmm. I was like, thank you. <laughs> I was like, because I'm just a person. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a person. I'm a big nerd Voice who loves anime. actors are indeed people. Yeah, I just, <gasps> I love anime. And yeah. I, I somehow infiltrated the system. I got in. I got in, guys. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, guys. Um, hit this notification bell if you guys want to see more videos like this. I'm going to be at Doki Dokan all weekend. So I got a couple more interviews lined up. We got some more videos coming out. Uh, so yeah, check these cards that are out here. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.